It's paramount to put the puzzle together right here in Berlin. This is a choke point. Hitler started here. Choke points are locations where people who are fleeing the scene of a crime have to make it past in order to succeed. So to start here and to figure out an escape route, and if it was possible for Adolf Hitler to get out of, maybe we could prove a point. All right. Thank you, This is good. In the Nuremberg trials, apparently there were so many rumors, so many fictitious lies that Moose Mano felt it necessary to do this all over again by himself. He wanted to interview over 200 people to see what exactly the truth was. Throw these words in there, escape, plans, fly, plane. That's direct evidence. They were there, they saw A, B, C, and D. Certainly gonna help me as a fugitive investigator. Here we go, we got hits here, look at this. I mean, to hunt somebody like Adolf Hitler would be like hunting Osama bin Laden. He's the most wanted man in the world. His face is plastered everywhere. Everybody knows who he is. He's got to think outside the box. He's got to put something together, trust a small group of people, and what a perfect opportunity here at Temple Off Airport. What do we know about these aircraft? Do we have a flight log? Can we get access to a flight log? I can show you. His own aircraft, the Condor 200, was renovated with a huge gas tank. They could have got him 2,000 miles out of Germany. Oh, that's interesting. The first plane was loaded with Hitler's private property. So what a perfect opportunity and escape plan he, he could have used. This Temple off airport, can he get there from the Fuhrer bunker? The Fuhrer bunker here? OK. That's Temple off airport. As a fugitive investigator, I wouldn't have known anything about it until after the fact. There's not sufficient evidence yet. Hitler died in the bunker on April 30th, 1945. Could Adolf Hitler gotten out of Berlin, and how did he do it? How did he enter Argentina? We're going to look at who could facilitate hiding Hitler.